So you got some nice IEMs or headphones, but what comes next? Naturally, you'd want a deck amp combo of some sort to really bring that gaming audio experience to a new level. There are plenty to choose from and some of those deck amp combos are quite costly. But what if I told you that you won't necessarily need a big desktop deck amp combo to really up your audio game? Something like this could offer you the same benefits of a deck amp combo with far less impact on your wallet. So. This is the newly released dongle DAC Hedits S8 Pro. It is running a dual source logic chip to offer the option to run this amp as balanced if you need more power for your headphones. This little device can output 2 times 80 milliwatts at 32 ohms as a single ended and double that with the balanced mode. This is plenty for most users and for example for IEMs you will have no problems running those. The build quality of this dongle is really solid and the shell is CNC machined aluminium and on the both sides there are these plastic walls that are quite fingerprint magnets. I'm not the biggest fan of those. The Hidits logo lights up and the color indicates the audio sample rate. There are also some filters that can be cycled with pressing the volume buttons at the same time. I prefer the no filter sound especially for gaming from these. The center button is then naturally the play and pause button. The output ports are 4.4 mm balanced and the standard 3.5 mm port for single-ended audio. One thing I really like about these dongle decks is the ease of use. Just plug the device in with a USB cable and plug in your headphones and then you are good to go. And the same thing applies to this Hedis deck. It's a real plug and play device. There is however a small bug with this particular deck and every time I start listening to music from a standstill there is this second long period that is completely silent. This doesn't happen if I switch tracks so it's only noticeable when I start my listening session. This doesn't happen at gaming at all. It's not a huge issue but something Hedis should maybe take a look at. Sound wise this deck seems to tighten up the bass region a bit compared to my other dongle deck, the Qtelix 5K and my desktop combo the SMSL SH6 and SU1. It also has a bit more warmth overall in sound than those. In game this deck brings some punchiness to certain weapon sounds like the wingman but after a while it's something you can't really notice. Technicalities wise this deck performs great and I can't really find any differences between amps while gaming. I really don't have ears for that. But yeah I would definitely say for my use cases <laughs> it is a solid choice for your first deck to pair up with your IEMs for mainly desktop usage in mind. Yeah, I said desktop usage because for portable use I found these wired dongle decks to be a bit of a hassle to use comfortably. For on the go use I have another device that I use basically daily and that is this Qtelix 5K. The Qtelix is around double the price of a Hedits deck at $109 but what it offers is truly outstanding. It is a dongle deck but it has some nice tricks to its sleeve. Firstly, it has a really good Bluetooth. So you can connect your phone to it via Bluetooth, put your phone to your backpack or a separate pocket and then just have this lightweight dongle with IEMs on you. Then you can just plug this to your computer with the USB-C cable and use it as a desktop device when you get home. So it's a really versatile device that I carry with me to the gym and to the office daily. Granted, it's not as easy to use as a wireless like a air pods or something but on the other hand this device offers such a nice sound quality compared to those uh true wireless headphones. The second big thing this device offers is the software. This device is a built-in EQ that you can use to make everything sound just like you want and I have saved some profiles for my different headphones that I can switch when I want. You can access the app on a Chrome browser on or your phone and you'll find all the same settings on both. And these things are not all this device offers since the feature list is quite long and Qtelix keeps updating the firmware even though this device was released like four years ago which is really rare to see nowadays. But that being said, if you plan to use the deck on your desktop only and don't care about EQing, the Hedits dongle offers plenty with half the price. Then what does a desktop deck amp combo offer that a dongle can't? Well for me personally I just happened to find this SMSL stack used for quite cheap. As I don't own any power hungry headphones I would be fine with any of the dongle decks really. So it is just a cool looking device on my desk currently that I use and I'm not afraid to admit it. This 
this pile of boxes sound really good and it's nice to know there is the capability to drive really really power hungry headphones with them but honestly sound wise especially when talking about main gaming a good dongle deck is enough but that is it for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one goodbye